Yes. We set to go. Hello, hello, everyone, and a very, very warm welcome to another episode of Soulful Women's Journey. And I'm really happy to share with you for the next 20 minutes or so some inspiring talk, conversation, all about how to connect with others with my wonderful, wonderful partner here, Jenny. So last episode, we talked all about how to connect with ourselves because that's the most important thing. That really is the foundation and it's what really everybody is seeking. We, we cannot connect with anyone else in a, in yes. a way that's gonna feel good to us if we haven't already made that connection with ourselves. So this little episode is following on from the tips and you know the, the strategies and the, the points and the stories that we mentioned last time in how important it is to connect with the self. So how to connect with others, because Jenny and I truly believe that connection and communication when it isn't working really is one of the biggest reasons why relationships break down. And so it's really, really important to not only know how to connect with yourself, but also to connect with others and those important people in your life, family, friends, work colleagues, you know, we all connect with each other in a different way. Yes. So here we have Jenny, the wonderful, wonderful Jenny. Would Thank you like you. to Louise. kick us off, Jenny? Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Louise. And uh, I think, Louise, maybe uh, I can recap a little bit about yeah. self-connection yeah. in case you haven't seen watched our last video. Welcome to our YouTube channel or any link we listed there. You find it, you know, and watch. So, but anyway, I recap a little bit here about self-connection, why we have to start with the connection with ourselves. Because when we talk about connection to others and literally to the world, it's really about we showing up in the world as who we are, the foundation part. So the, if this part of us, we accept it and we like it, we show up naturally as us, and then people could have the base to connect with us. But in case, you know, anything it's not in case almost everybody has something right experienced something so in childhood time you know we had events or so and then have you know kind of uh, you know bothersome memories judgment or so any part we didn't feel safe accepting you know unconditionally so now we go out, we try to hide or try to, you know, it's like critical noises in the mind all the time, even though when we show up physically, but those energy, they are there inside of us at subconscious level. So people even don't see it. We even don't need to talk about anything, but people can sense. So, and unconsciously, we even don't know that these voices are there to protect us, to keep us safe so that we don't show up as who we are. Otherwise, you know, the similar experiences will happen again. We don't want to, you know, we don't want that to happen. So this is the part why we cannot discuss, uh, disconnect, uh, connect with others. So literally showing up then, you know, if we need to protect ourselves, then we feel like empathy inside and we need to like uh, isolate ourselves. And then, you know, with some traumas or, you know, some kind of painful event, we close our heart and totally shut down. So even though we go out, we want to connect, but the heart is shut down. 
so people human connect with each other really more than the working language in the working place or some just routine we connect really by emotions by feelings by love if that foundational part is not there then just like you said just now the relationship with others will be broken will be not like you know healthy complete you know the connection part is missing so that's you know pretty much the important foundation right so i just like to recap a little bit thank you jenny yes and it is so so important and we are you know you and i talk a lot about energy emotion because that is our driver and that is what connects us you know to other people to the universe and that's what connects us to ourselves and if we're not aware of those emotions and that energy all the stuff that perhaps we're being taught will just be going on in the background and we won't be feeling in a way that's right for us and so that was our foundation and so please do go back and have a look at that video um perhaps before you watch this one which is all about connecting with others so in brief i believe we connect with people in three ways so I'm, I'm just being uh, very broadly speaking here. We yes. connect with people with the way that we talk. So we can talk to people um, and say things. But here's the thing. We can actually say untruths as well. You know, we can say things that aren't quite right and that things that, we're, that we don't really mean. So it's, um, it's not a very powerful way actually of connecting. But we talk all the time. You know, it is, it is how we communicate with others. We also connect by our behaviors, which has a little bit more of an impact on someone else. So how you behave is more being true to yourself. Yes. Because a lot of that behavior is driven from the subconscious mind, which is your emotions, which is who you truly are. Um, but our greatest form of connection is really how we feel. And how yes. we feel is what the other person is going to take from you. So, it, you know, if you have not got any of those aligned, if you're saying something different to how you're behaving, to how you are feeling, you have just given that other person a very confused message. Yes. So it's really important that we have these three things aligned. And as Jenny explained, we really need to be true to ourselves with the foundational work of those feelings and emotions. What is right for you to feel right now? And are you able to express that in a healthy way that is right for you? So that message will be very clear to that person because connecting with other people, most of us have a very blurred message. We even have a blurred message when we talk about ourselves. The amount of people I say, um, you know, what are your dreams? What are your goals? And people don't even really know. And they, and they yes. just sort, sort of talk in negative language. So if you don't even know yourself, you really cannot convey this message to someone else. Yes. You need to be super, super clear. So I'd really love you to think about, first of all, are you aligned? Are you saying things in the same way that you are behaving and are you feeling what you are saying yes and i think that's really really important so wow i think you probably agree with that would you jenny or have you got a different oh take yeah on? yeah 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 sure i really love that you know this three uh different ways of connection um let me uh just uh can i just repeat that because i found that you know the voice from your end it's a little bit low so allow me to oh. just you know repeat your three points and add oh. something i feel resonated about your talking mm. so louise just now really pointed out you know the levels of our connection you know at through talking our behaves behaviors and our feeling that's just so important and when we could connect with the alignment 
you know, at these levels, especially aligned with our feelings. Because even though we don't talk about our feelings and we cannot really, we don't behave, we behave like, you know, a normal person should do or, or behave, you know, but inside of us, we know how we feel. But sometimes if it's like, you know, uncomfortable feelings or so, then we have to hide. We have to show up to please others or if we need to blend in and fit. So there is something, you know, misaligned there. So just like you said, I totally agree with that. I appreciate you pointed out that people actually are confused. So for example, I, I, I'm not a, I'm, I'm kind of private person. I don't like to really expose myself in public, but, you know, after all this work I have done and I'm called to do this work, I really have to be also real to share my real experience. So before, you know, because of my family situation, I was, you know, criticized all the time. I have to, you know, behave, talk, you know, show up at certain ways so that I can be accepted by others and liked. So I have to please, you know, like people pleaser. And then I try to fit everywhere, but, you know, end up, you know, fitting nowhere. Because, you know, you lost the foundation part of you. You dare not to show up as you. You want to be perfect. Hide some of the raw part or vulnerable part. And that's what happened to me. So I learned and I did the work. That's why I think, Luis, you and me, you know, we people finally went through the transformation and the show up to share with us, support others by being us and share, being a sharing the real experiences. So, so true, it has to be aligned. And let me add one more point. I really feel, you know, to strengthen your point, connecting with people by feelings. So I want to say in relationships, we talk in the different specified special language which is called emotions. So when we skip that part, drive that part away, our connection only stays at the other two levels, as you said, and then it doesn't go to our heart, go to our spirit, really have the full connection. So beautifully put, absolutely beautifully put. So that's, you know, we need to have great awareness as to what we're thinking, how we're behaving, and what we're feeling. And it will give you a great indication of perhaps what needs healing inside of you if you are unable to communicate your feelings because of embarrassment, for fear of rejection, for fear of not being accepted. You know, that'll give you great insight as to what you really need to heal. And, you know, it's a great learning exercise. And Jenny and I have been through many, many of these learning healing you know sort of exercises to to get to where we are today so just a couple of um pointers here on when we do connect with others if you want to come from a very powerful place people don't like to be told what to do nobody does children yes, yes. or adults yes so if you would like something done what I suggest you do is come from the place of I. I would really love you to do the dishwasher tonight at six o'clock. I would really love you to come for a walk with me. I would really love for you to give me a hand with the ironing, the cleaning, the, the whatever it is. So instead of telling someone what to do, instead of saying, could you help me because I'm absolutely exhausted, come from a place that really speaks much more powerfully as to what you would like, as opposed to telling someone yes, what to yes. do. So that is one of my tips to help you communicate what it is you want 
in a better way. And I promise you, it'll be much better received. And it works really, really well with children, even little small children. Yes. So that is just my tip. Do you have a little tip there to communicate? Yeah, it's so true. Thank you for that. I think, you know, even though I didn't organize the language like you said, I figured out that I started to use this in my own family, you know, dealing with my husband, my son, you know, it's so good tip. I will remember that practicing more. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so that's really a good one. Um, yeah, from my point, I like to mention uh, a big, you know, area that many of us, you know, almost all of us, you know, experienced in life which is the triggers, right? Somebody is really good at pressing our buttons. <laughs> so in relationships, we all have buttons, but people are good at pressing our buttons because our buttons are there. <laughs> so the buttons are really the areas that we had hurtful feelings, experienced, you know, bothersome, you know, memories, events before, or even trauma. But when we experienced that in the childhood, we got stuck, you know, and, uh, you know, with all these buried feelings, you know, stuck energies, that's what I use, you know, to talk about. And when we uh, uh, don't have chance, whatever, for whatever reasons, don't have chance to heal that part and let them out yet. So we will be trapped in the pattern and constantly being triggered. But if, you know, you also experience something like that, I love to, you know, share and remind that please go back to you instead of checking what they say, what they did to, you know, hurt, to, you know, hurt us. Actually, it's about all about us we responded really by how we feel, but not from what they said. So come back to us when we are triggered and found out what, what the, you know, they said, you know, made me feel, how, why I feel this way. When did that come from, you know, started in my life. You will find out in which areas you need to still you know, like uh, do a bit more healing, clearing, so that finally we will remove those buttons and they have nowhere to press. And then our relationships actually will improve in certain way. So that's only, you know, one area of the, you know, many tips, right? But I guess timing wise, you know, we don't, we can talk again forever, but uh, in the short, you know, period of this episode, I think, you know, that's what I like to share. It happens a lot in my life and in my clients' life experiences. Thank you, Jenny. That's, that's wonderful. And, you know, those buttons, um, I call them triggers. It's the same thing. You know, somebody says something which affects the way you feel and you interpret it, you know, with your own experience. Um, so, so thank you so much for that. And it is, you know, great learning. It's it's wonderful indication. It's it's not bad at all. It's um, it's just giving you feedback as to what really needs healing inside of you. And so, just to wrap up this session, I think um, it would be really good for you to have that awareness of whether you are talking, behaving, and feeling in alignment. Um, and as Jenny says, always to go back to the true you, the the authentic you. So, you know, the, the foundation of what you are building your relationships on um, is hugely, hugely important and become really aware of those three points and that will, will help you. And start using that word I, you know, start using yes. that word, stop telling people um, what to do. So I think that wraps up that nicely unless you've got anything else, Jenny. Oh, yeah, sure. Th th this is wonderful. You know, I think, you know, I'm good, you know, for today, because we will come back to talk more about, you know, one area of the connection or so. Yeah, 
so that's that's good for today thank you wonderful oh and thank you so much everyone for joining us um we love feedback so please do send us any comments um in the little box below the uh youtube video there and we will be back again with another hot topic to share with you more on soulful women's journey so it's a bye-bye from me keep safe keep well and bye-bye from jenny yes thank you thank you louise thank you for everybody can i just also add one more you know it's like we both are not really talking that a lot i you know feel like i really love to step out you know inviting more you know, of course, I know many people need support. So in case any of you are watching this, feel like anybody in your life or anybody you know needs some support at the moment, please share and spread the message. I hope what we share, the work we do really could help and support people. Yes, that's all. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, all you viewers. Thank you. And thank you, Jenny, again for joining me. On this yeah. Yeah. Bye for now. Thank you, Luis. Bye. bye, -bye.